So a while back, Petty Page sent out a tweet saying that she could be the best friend of mine or my worst enemy. And yeah, let's discuss and analyze Petty Page. What's up everybody, it's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do typically is pull different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. And please, for the love of God, learn from my mistakes, all right? Uh, but anyways, if you're into any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. If you did not watch my last video, I'm gonna reference this throughout the weekend, watch my last video, it will be linked up in the info card, at the end screen, and everywhere else, but I'm kind of explaining what this series of videos is that I'm doing this weekend, all right? And in each of these videos, I've linked a chapter uh, from my book, Canceled, down below, and it gives kind of more of my thoughts and opinions on uh, some things. I know a lot of you did not read my book, and I'm just asking you to read one chapter, and my chapters are short, it's like three or four pages, just read it. But when I, as I go through and make these videos, just, just remember, like I, I'm sharing my experience, I'm analyzing the YouTube community, and I just want you to form your own opinions. You might hate me, that's cool, but what I do not condone is attacking anybody I talk about because then you're no better than anybody else, all right? But we should be able to openly share our opinions and share our experience and things like that without hate mobs going after people. So do not go attack Petty Page. I'm simply analyzing what I've learned um, and sharing my experience, but again, I, I really hope if you're watching these videos that I'm making, you learn from my experience because I'm kind of an idiot. So anyways, to start this off, in my opinion, in my opinion, the only thing worse than fake experts is people who accuse people of being fake experts and are completely ignorant around the realm in which they're speaking about. So um, when I first got into YouTube and started blending commentary and drama with other subjects, um, I love Peter Mon. Peter Mon is another man in recovery. Uh, those of you who follow him, you know he was accused of some terrible things by John Cuckian and everything like that. But anyways, uh, Peter Mon, right as I was coming up, he, he had everything turn on him because of a video Petty Page made. And oh my God, like this is one of the biggest issues with the YouTube drama and commentary community is that people will believe anything they hear, okay? Like I had to reach out to Peter at that time and I was like, this is insane, dude, because Peter has worked in the treatment industry, I have worked in the treatment industry and I'm watching Petty Page, okay? a woman from the United Kingdom, all right? And this isn't a knock at her, I'm just saying, a woman from the United Kingdom trying to expose a man who worked in the United States mental health treatment realm, all right? Like, there's this crazy thing right now where people think that they're these internet detectives and something that Petty Page does a lot is she shows all the research she's done and the calls that she's made. Like, you guys, Googling some stuff and making some calls is never going to teach you about the mental health care system in the United States, okay? There are state laws, there are federal laws, and all of that. So to think that Petty Page was in any way accurate with knowing the United States laws when it comes to mental health, like that is insane. But here's the thing, and one of the reasons I'm talking about these things and analyzing Petty Page and the YouTube community is we need to really be independent thinkers. Like I want you guys to ask yourselves, like is this the person I want to believe? 
right, is do I wanna trust their research? A lot of times we just do that by default because we're too lazy to do the research ourselves, right? Like, regardless of what you think about politics and everything like that, we need to check in with our own confirmation bias and know that we're more likely to believe things just because we already want it to be true. You know what I mean? And then our brain filters everything like, oh, you know what, I had a feeling that Peter Mon wasn't a good guy. You know, just because a bunch of people are saying it doesn't mean it's true, all right? Something I, uh, I was quoted on saying in an article recently is, like, you can find entire conventions of people who believe the earth is flat. That doesn't make it true. All right, so please be independent thinkers and do your own research. But again, I think it is absolutely fascinating, kind of ignorant to trust a drama channel from the United Kingdom to do a deep dive into the United States mental health care system. All right, this is something that eventually happened to me as well. A bunch of people who know absolutely nothing about addiction treatment, the mental health care system, just sharing their thoughts and beliefs. And I'll talk a little bit about that more in uh, another video. But you might be wondering, why did I call myself an idiot earlier? Well, Petty Page reached out to me, right? And this is after she made her Peter Mon video. And uh, my girlfriend warned me. She's like, don't, don't talk to Petty Page. Don't talk to Petty Page. And I'm like, you know, I, I just want to be friendly with as many people as possible. And Petty Page, um, and she, she'll bring receipts. I deleted all our conversations. So if I'm inaccurate, I apologize. It is not with ill intent. This is just purely going based off memory. All right. So anyway, she reached out to me, I believe, because that little background that I have, um, it was made by my amazing editor, Zach. Uh, she asked me about it. And I was trying to help Zach get some work. Zach is amazing. He's always looking for freelance work and everything like that. So um, I referred her to my editor, Zach, to make that background or to do some, some other stuff for her. And yeah, and Zach's like, are you, are you cool with this? Like, I've heard some things about Petty Page. I'm like, yeah, dude, like, make your money. Like, whatever, right? And I linked those two up. Well, anyways, like, Petty Page and I, we didn't talk, we didn't talk all the time. But what ended up happening, and again, this is based on my recollection, so Petty Page probably has the actual DMs, and I might have approached her in the same way I approached others when I was being a, uh, an idiot, and I talk about that more in my book that a lot of people didn't read. Um, I, was, I was being very dumb. I wanted, I wanted attention. I wanted more views on the Trisha Paytas situation, and it was idiotic of me. And I messaged drama channels. That's how my whole thing started. And uh, yeah, one of the people I messaged was Petty Page, and she, she said she was gonna make a video. So I talked to, I was talking to her about it and I was trying to organize my content. So I follow up with her and say, hey, when are you making this video? And then she came back and said she wasn't making it. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. And yeah, that was about it. But anyways, um, eventually she was one of the people who leaked my DM of her, of me asking if she saw the things Trisha Paytas said about me. But anyways, then she goes on to make an entire Peter Mon style video about me, right? And again, like learn from my mistakes, all right? When people show you who they are, believe them. Like I have nobody to blame but myself. I saw what she did to Peter Mon. So am I even allowed to be surprised that she did it to me? Hell no, that was my fault. That was this guy's fault. Like, this is something that I should have known and I, I have to learn from it again, right? And know who I'm building relationships with and if they'll turn on me and everything like that, right? So she ends up making this hour long, you know, or long video on me and yeah, she she still has it as her channel, channel trailer the last time I checked, but anyways, um, she has some good criticisms in there of me. She also has some um, ones that don't make any sense and they're purely based on her opinion, speculation about my character and all that kind of stuff, you know, the typical what drama channels do or whatever. But again, going back to analyzing her, here's something that's absolutely fascinating. So those of you who have been following the drama community for a couple weeks, a smaller channel 
with 500 subscribers at that time named Earth Mother made a video sharing her opinions about drama channels. Okay, and one of them was Petty Page. She brought up, um, you know, some racial things and everything like that, all right? And I don't mean to be mean to Petty Page in any way, but I look at this and I'm like, oh my God. Because Petty Page then went on a live stream and recorded for like 45 minutes to an hour crying about what Earth Mother said. And I was sitting there like, are you serious right now? Like, here's, here's why. She has every right to, you know, to her feelings and everything like that. But what's fascinating to me is when you make your entire channel around throwing shade and spilling tea, and then a tiny creator says something you don't like, and it affects you that much that you have to go on a stream and, you know, and, and like address it. Like, here's, here's the lesson I want you all to learn from it because it's what I learned. I'm like, holy crap, I am a lot stronger than these other people. Like I said, Petty Page's channel trailer is a, a video attacking me over a hundred thousand views. All right, her and all of her little click made videos about me that got tens of thousands of views. But then a channel, a channel, Earth Mava with 500 subscribers makes a video and she comes on camera bawling her eyes out. And I'm like, I realized at that point, I'm like, oh my God, like maybe it's a good thing this happened to me because if this happened to any of these other creators, they could not have dealt with it. They could not have handled what I've been through. And I want you guys to think about that too. Most of you watching this, you've been through something. I want you to recognize there's other people out there who could never, ever go through what you've been through. They would have given up by now. I saw that, I saw that. That comment, that comment set Petty Page off that much. Meanwhile, I had hundreds of thousands of people coming after me. I had dozens of large channels making videos about me. I had people sending me death threats, people threatening to murder my mother, people messaging my girlfriend. But this tiny channel, Earth Mother, said one thing about Petty Page and she lost it. So when I'm analyzing people, these are things that I have to recognize. I'm like, oh, okay, like this is who they are. But I just, I, I'm really intrigued that drama channels like, like, as much as people want to say that I've ever told people to stop making videos about me and everything like that, that has literally never happened because I'm all about personal responsibility. When I turned on my camera for the first time and hopped on YouTube, I knew that people, there was a chance people would make videos about me, right? And throughout my whole canceling, like no matter how much it hurt or anything like that, like I have an internal locus of control. I was like, this is my fault. Like, this is all my fault. I brought this on myself from trying to befriend people like Petty Page who will turn their back on you and expose you to befriending other drama channels to me getting cocky and egotistical and thinking I was invincible. It was all my fault. So I can only get so upset, right? I can only get so upset about this. But when I watch these other drama channels, like the viewer's voice did this, Rich Lux did this, a bunch of them have done this. Like, I'm like, did you guys not realize like you made an entire channel doing this and then you're surprised when someone does it about you? Like, I don't, I just don't see the rationale in that. You know what I mean? But anyways, make sure you watch my last video. Like I said, I know a lot of you didn't read my book. This is nothing new. A lot of this stuff is in my book. Some of the stuff is updated and new. But anyways, my book is free um, again, just uh, until the end of the weekend, until October 1st. So if you wanna grab a, a free copy and get the full context um, of everything, if you want to dispel some of the misinformation going around, like Chris has taken no accountability and everything like that, uh, feel free to check it out. But anyways, uh, yeah, I have more videos coming. Um, I'm just gonna be sharing my opinion, my thoughts. I'm, I, I'm an analytical person. And again, I just want you to be independent thinkers.
I want to talk about things like uh, one of the one of the reasons I have my channel. I I, I I want to talk about things that nobody seems to talk about. Um, I want to talk about things from different angles that nobody seems to talk about, you know, or if so, it doesn't get as many views as when you talk about, you know, James Charles or Jeffree Star or whatever. Um, but yeah, anyways, bear with me this weekend. I'm just going, going through these videos and there's more to come. But anyways, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And thanks to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon, everybody who buys merch and my books and everything like that. You're all amazing. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.